welcome back now in this video we will create an icon button for the search screen okay right in here on the right side right at top so let's go and do that right below this icon button in here we will say action and right in the actions we will say icon button there we go it's going to take the on press and also the icon we will remove that for now we will just add it in a while in here comma and we will tag this down now simply add the icon icons and we will go with the search outline that one that is fine you can choose whatever you want right in there and also in here remove that s with the icon so the error will be gone okay there we go we add an extra S to this icon since it's a widget so we don't have to write the S with it also we will give the color so in here comma color we will go the colors dot black that's fine now let's move further it's going to take the on press even as I tell you in here take this down and now first we will go and create a new screen for the search so let's go towards the directory search there we go open that in here let's create a new dot file and we will name this as a search underscore job now right in here we will have a statful widget so write st and there we go with the statful widget in here let's give a name search screen now we don't need this key simply tell this and simply import the library material dot dot there we go so for now this search screen is totally empty as you guys can see the container is totally empty so you will come back right to it just in a while first let's go towards the job screen dot dot right in here right in the on press event we will say navigator dot push replacement it's going to take the contacts now we will provide the root and it's going to be material page root and let's get it to the search screen in here so we will say search screen right in here semicolon and right in here also add it parentheses so the error has been gone already now in here add the const modifier so all of the work has been done for the search screen and we add it right in here and also the icon in here and you guys can see the icon in here is changed dynamically it's a start for widget so if you guys didn't how to load the app simply first do that and then you can simply look over here and you will notice that or also you can press the control s and now if i go back right to this icon and click on that you guys will notice that search screen because we simply navigate the user to the search screen right in here let us go and click on that search icon and there we go with the search screen as i told you before it's a empty screen because right in the search job we didn't add anything yet it's a empty container for now but we will do one thing right in here just to add the beautiful UI design the mixture of a two color for now so we will simply for time saving copy that code because we have already implemented it at many places right in this app so let's go towards the job screen and right in here what we will do we will copy that 
decoration first from here copy it and let's go to the search job dot die in here right in this container past it you will go back again and in here we will simply first write in the search job dot dot right down in here you will say child and we will have a scaffold widget now right in there we will say background color or you can simply go back to the job screen dot dot in here copy that okay and go back to the search shop dot dot in here past it okay now in here we will say app bar or you can go back to the job screen dot dot in here simply we will copy that container with a flexible space copy it and come back to the search job dot dot in here we will say first app bar and write in the app bar paste it okay now simply press the control s and you guys will notice the output right in here there will be a mixture of a two color with a deep orange which you had 300 and the other color is blue accent and also in here for the body and also for the app bar press the control s and there we go you guys can notice that search screen okay and if you guys want to add the title simply in here you will say title and in here text widget and let's have that text you will simply say search job screen and we will set it right at center so set it to true if I add the cost modifier for now press the control s and there we go search job screen so it's working totally fine for now we will leave this as it is and first we will complete the job screen dot dot so close that search job dot dot and we are back in here and we have successfully implemented that button and you guys already noticed the output and it's working totally fine the last thing that we will do just right in here we will add the automatically employee leading we will set this to false so this will basically control whether we should try to imply the leading widget if no and automatically try to deduce what the leading widget should be that's why we edit right in here so all of the work has been done and that's it for this video right from the next video we will work further so see you